What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we have day two of our anime Funko Pop reviews and we have the AAA anime exclusive Trafalgar Law from One Piece with the chase. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so today we do have the Trafalgar Law AAA Anime Exclusive Common and Chase to check out and unbox, which is going to be really awesome. So big shout out to AAA Anime for sending over their samples early on to me. These are not uh, released yet, guys, for the record, as well as Kakashi is not released yet. Kakashi should be coming closer to September, as well as Law should be coming right around that time as well. So stay tuned, guys. I'm just giving you guys early looks, early teasers, essentially. Also making an appearance, guys, we do have the original Trafalgar Law one piece pop that is like a $300 pop we're gonna be taking him out of box too so basically I do want to compare the three and see which one is better out of all of them I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who did support the yesterday's video with Kakashi Anbu I'm really excited that that did really well and I'm glad that all of you guys were like shocked and surprised and like whoa this is really awesome and uh, it was a really fun video to make and really fun to check it out early on um, so if you did not check out Kakashi Anbu yesterday make sure to check out the chase and common review on that but all right guys let's jump into the actual review so we do have the common Trafalgar Law here. Again, it is a triple A anime exclusive, still widely available at places like Entertainment Earth and more, but it does look awesome there. Obviously, he's using his devil fruit power in there. To show you guys the side there, he even has a little bit of an aura around him on the as a base stand, which looks great. You have Sabo, Luffy, Taro, Crocodile, and Bonkichi on the back there, which looks great. And they did actually go with one thing I did want to tell you guys was they actually went with the darker color box. If you guys will see that, obviously this is more uh, yellowish and this is like a browner, which is cool nonetheless. I, I think it's cool. I like this new box design better than this old one, and I think it looks a lot better. And it's, uh, you know, it's more like for display. I think it looks better personally is what I'm trying to say. Oh, and just so you guys know, obviously Trafalgar Law is using his Devil Fruit Power in here. So I'm going to be talking spoilers in this video if that wasn't apparent already. I do want to let you guys know that. Anyways, guys, let's take Trafalgar Law out of the box and check him out. This is very, very exciting. Ah, oh, this is so great. Oh, guys, and one thing that's actually great about this new law is it's more affordable for new collectors that weren't around when this one was releasing, and this one's two, three hundred dollars, and most people can't afford a three hundred dollar pop. So we do have a new law and a better law available practically most places so you can actually afford it. All right, guys, so taking Law out of the box here, he looks absolutely amazing. And we're gonna be checking out the glow on the chase as well, guys. So essentially what he's using is shambles there. Um, and essentially it's from his Operation Operation Fruit or Opi Opi Nomi, um, if you prefer to call it that. And essentially he can create a room with his power and operate in it, which is actually really awesome, to be honest. This looks great. And then you have the uh, actual base stand around him, kind of like shards going up, almost in an action pose, which looks awesome. One of Law's most popular moments and a funny scene is when he was actually using shambles against a bunch of Marines in creating a room and kind of cutting them up and actually, you know, piecing them together in different ways and weird ways, which was really funny. So nonetheless, this is an actual really, really cool pop. He actually does have his sword on the back there as well. That is sheathed versus the chase actually being unsheathed. And he does have his pirate symbol on the back there. As well, guys, as on the front, he does have it tattooed on his chest, and essentially it is in the shape of a heart, kind of like his devil fruit, which is absolutely really cool. He even has the little pattern on his hat, which looks great. It's a darker brown than the other, um, than the actual, well, I guess it's about the same. No, it's a lighter brown, actually. The darker brown is on the OG one, but this pop looks absolutely amazing. They even put the tattoos of death on his fingers there which looks really, really cool as well. I absolutely love the sheep look and then shambles in his hands. I think that's really cool. And I really, really like this pop. I think it's leagues better than the original because the original is just in a regular, you know, standing pose, just kind of like a menacing pose, but it's nothing too much. Like this is an action pose. There's a lot to the pop and it has a chase variant, which is awesome. So guys, we're going to take out the original law and compare it to this one and then also compare it to the chase and compare all three at the end. But I do want to take it out of the box. This is... This is a very expensive pop in box. Oh boy. <laughs> I did pay $200 for my law, so I didn't pay it too crazy. Some of them were, you know, $400. Nonetheless, guys, this is the original law here, guys, which looks great. Look at that. He has a sword there as well. The paint job on this one's older and rougher because this pop is from 2016, so it is five years old. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a cool pop. 
And it's significantly different, which is awesome. And why it might maintain its value a little bit is because it's significantly different than this actual pop. And the colors are different, the pose is different, everything like that. So maybe people might want the original one still. He does have the words death written on his fingers as well, if it'll focus on there. So there are some similar, you know, similarities between the two, obviously, because it's the same character. But nonetheless, guys, here is them side by side so you guys can see. They look great. I would say, though, the new AAA exclusive is definitely leagues better because it just has so much detail added to it. Next up, guys, we are going to be checking out the new Trafalgar Law Chase. So this one is really awesome as well. So this is a glow chase, guys, which is really awesome. And it does have the same box for anybody wondering. It also does have that 3D art for anybody wondering as well. Um, so same box, just different pop inside. But I just want to show you guys a little, you know, run around of the box as well. So this pop is really awesome as well because it does actually have him, you know, like I said, with a chase variant. And it does have him holding Smoker's heart in a little um, room, essentially like a squarish room, which is cool. And I really think this is so cool. Just him holding a heart in his hand nonetheless. It kind of reminds me of... Um, of Hunter Hunter when Killua took the heart out of that one dude. I don't remember his name, it's been a while. But uh, when Killua took out the heart of that guy and just held it in his hand, it was kind of gross, but it was cool as well. Um, nonetheless, guys, here is the actual chase. So not crazy different from the, um, from the actual exclusive. There are like a couple differences that I will go over briefly, um, which is the sword is actually out from when he used it to cut out the heart. And then he is holding the heart there, which does glow. And I believe his base stand does glow as well. And we're gonna be checking that out shortly. As well, guys, as his hand is different there where it's kind of like under like this versus over where he's holding the room and he's holding the heart in his hand. So overall, guys, there's only about three or four differences in terms of the actual pops but at least it's a significantly different chase that you can tell, which is awesome because some of the chases lately haven't been great. You know, they're just like the same pose and a glow or maybe a finger moved or an arm moved. And I think this chase is absolutely awesome and significantly different and you can tell the differences, which is really awesome. But anyways, guys, let's check out the glow on this Trafalgar Law chase. All right, guys, so now we are going to be checking out the glow on the actual chase. So the heart in his hand does glow as well, guys, as the base stand does glow. I feel like this UV light is flickering a little bit, so we'll try to hurry up this. But anyways, let's check it out. Three, two, where's the button? One, and let's see. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like the blue. I'm trying to make the heart glow. I don't think I put it on as much, so I'm gonna try to put it closer. That's really cool, though, that he's holding a heart. That's like, how cool do you have to be to just hold somebody's heart in your hand and just hold them hostage like that? All right, ready, guys? Three, two, one. Now, that's cool. It does fade a little bit, but nonetheless, guys, it is still cool, a chase. Like, it's an important moment from the show. It's a very awesome moment from the show. And the base stand glows as well, so that's very vibrant. The blue's very vibrant on the bottom. The heart, I feel like you have to get it at a certain angle to be able to get it to glow, okay? But again, guys, this is just a sample, so they will be fixing that most likely in the actual official pop, and it might be a little bit better in the official pop. So I just wanted to mention that these are samples, and they haven't actually got their stock yet. So anything that needed to be fixed in the samples, they will fix in the final production. But this is cool. There it glows. That's awesome. All right, guys, so the glow is actually pretty cool on it. The blue around the base stand is actually very vibrant. I will say the heart does kind of uh, fade a little fast, but I think if you use maybe a stronger UV light, it'll probably make it glow longer, which is awesome. Um, nonetheless, guys, it's a cool chase either way, regardless of the glow. And I really do enjoy it. I think this is awesome. I do want to compare it before we compare all three um, up close. I do want to compare it to the actual original law. Just give you guys kind of like a side by side really quick, which is cool. And then, of course, I want to give you guys a side by side of the actual chase and common. I will say, actually, something I did notice as well is that the the one, the base stand on this one, on the actual chase, is lighter than the actual, um, the normal common, which is a little bit darker. And I'll show you guys that up close right now. Alright guys, so here is the three all lined up. We do have the AAA anime exclusive, the chase, and of course the original grail, which is really awesome. Look at these guys. These are absolutely great pops. As you can tell, differences are right off the bat. Obviously, these are significantly different with their actual base stands and their uh, him using shambles and everything like that. Same hand. He does have the same hand pose like he's going to use shambles. But on top of the hat there, you guys can actually see it is a little bit of a uh, darker 
kind of color they use. They use like a lighter, almost has like a brown tint to it, as well, guys, as the spots on his hat. This is a darker, or a lighter brown, excuse me, as well as a darker brown on the actual regular um, common, which is still cool nonetheless. And then you can obviously see his tattoo on his chest there. I'll turn this one a little bit. His sword is unsheathed, but it's sheathed in this one, so that one does have the similarities of that one. And you can see his black coat there. Another difference as well, guys, as if you can see on the um, pant leg there, it is a darker blue with the black spots, or the uh, darker spots, excuse me. And then on the new one, it does actually have a lighter blue pants with the actual um, lighter brown spots. So there are significantly different um, Differences and similarities between each one. Obviously, again, it is the same character, just different. The eyes are about the same. The hair is about the same, I'd say, as well. Earrings, yep, earrings are about the same. Different colors. They just use a lot of different colors for different things, but in terms of the actual character, um, it's the same character regardless, just a different moment in the actual show. And then obviously something significantly different that I didn't feel like I needed to mention was the actual skin tone is significantly different. This one being very, very light and this one being very, very tan. So um, there are a lot of differences, guys, but Nonetheless, it is still a really awesome pop, and I love that it got such a glow up with this new Common and Chase for AAA anime. All right, guys, so that was your review for the new Trafalgar Law Chase from One Piece. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I know a lot of people are really excited for this one, the Anbu one, and a few of the other cool chases for all anime coming out soon. Um, this was really awesome to review and be able to do the review on it early on, so thank you so much, AAA anime. That was really awesome of you to send over Anbu Kakashi and the Trafalgar Law Chases. That's just absolutely amazing. So again, thank you so much, guys. Make sure to be following AAA Anime over on their Instagram, guys. That's where they do make new announcements on new pops and teasers and all different things like that. So go follow their Instagram. And of course, guys, again, if you did enjoy this video, comment down below which one is your favorite out of all three laws. Do you prefer the original one? Do you prefer the new AAA Anime exclusive or the chase of the actual exclusive? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. A lot of cool things going on over there. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends, as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.